The Nevada men's basketball team will have its hands full tomorrow when it takes on Arizona State in the NCAA tournament. Colorado News Now's Kirk Schroeder joins us outside the University of Dayton Arena. Kirk, the selection committee created a huge storyline just by putting these two teams together. Noah, Selection Sunday was an extremely emotional time for the Nevada men's basketball team. Once they did hear their name called, they obviously celebrated. But on the other hand, you have to look at who the opponent is. And once the players realize, oh, wow, we get Arizona State, that means facing Desmond Cambridge Jr. and Warren Washington. If those two names sound familiar, it's because those two spent the last three seasons in Nevada before transferring to Arizona State. Now, it's very politically correct to say, okay, it's just another game, but really, this is a narrative that is extremely important. Definitely uh, a competitive nature there since we know each other and we were on the same team, but uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say it was too much of you left, so we want to beat you, but it's really more like you're on the other team, so we want to beat you. He texted me maybe 10 minutes after, like, this is so crazy, dude, and I would say the same, and then I was like, you can't guard me, though, and then um, he was along the same lines, a little friendly banter, but that was it. It was four texts because at the end of the day, I don't want to do too much. We want to come in, clear mind, clear head, and play the game. I'm coming ready to play. And Regardless of who you are, how long I've known you, that really doesn't matter. I don't know you on the court if you're not on my team. He's great at protecting the rim, uh, blocking shots. Um, he's also got a good post game, so it'll be a good matchup between uh, me and him, so I'm looking forward to it. The committee did a good job of this, and I feel like it's going to be a war. I can't wait. Honestly, as an, uh, just another game. Um, it's March, survive in advance, so that's the way I'm looking at it. We win, we, we keep going, we lose, we go home, so... It's cutthroat, and that's the way it is. I just wanted to finish what I started. I want to return to the Pac-12. Um, Arizona State's like a second home. Phoenix is like a second home for me. I was born in Gilbert, Arizona. Uh, my whole, like, half of my mom's side's living in Phoenix, so I felt like it was the best decision for me and, and the best opportunity for me, personally. Now, if you're watching tomorrow night's game, there are two important individual matchups that you can tune into. You got Coleman on the Nevada side versus Cambridge Junior for Arizona State, then Baker versus Washington, the two post players banging it out on the inside. Two of those matchups, you can really kind of dictate the game depending on who wins those individual matchups. Also, too, at 6 o'clock, 6.30, I should say, we're going to run you through a couple of fans who made the trip out here and why being in the Midwest is not exactly a hindrance to Nevada. It could actually play in their favor. We'll tell you why that is coming up tonight at 6.30. Reporting live outside of University of Dayton Arena in Dayton, Ohio, Kurt Schroeder, Colloid Sports. All right, Kurt, stay warm out there.